So you've already finished your logo, you've got your first colors selected, but you're not 100% on them. In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy method for testing out a few different color options. Welcome to the channel, designers. My name is Mike Pickett, and I'm here to help you become a better vector and logo designer. Now, whether you're just getting started or you're looking to maybe just sharpen your skills, you've come to the right channel. Now, this is your first time here or possibly you've been here before and you're just not that great at following directions. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates coming. A lot of content coming for 2020. You're not going to want to miss it. So as I said at the start of the video, you've completed your logo or even just another vector art piece. And now you're looking to play with the colors you picked out. Well, there's a little button inside of Illustrator called the Recolor Artwork button. And you can click on this after you've selected your artwork, and it gives you a few different options to be able to go in and change your colors and just try different options. So let's hop into Illustrator, and I'll show you how this works. All right, designers, here we are inside of Adobe Illustrator. We've got two different files open we're gonna work on today. One is this Kinetic logo. The other is this vintage lamp that I designed. So we're gonna start with the logo. I've got my selection tool, or V on your keyboard. I'm gonna drag around the whole logo, and then we're gonna click on this little button up here, the Recolor Artwork button. Starting at the top, we've actually got a little drop down here. I'm gonna move this out of the way so we can see our artwork. And I can click onto any one of these to recolor this artwork based on that initial blue. So say I wanna do triad colors, I click there. It's pretty ugly, so I'm not gonna use that one. But you can see just by a simple click, I can actually come in here and recolor things until I find one that I like. So there's shades. That one looks not bad. We've also got some monochromatic stuff here. That one's too washed out. Say monochromatic two. That one's not bad too. I'd still want to tweak this a little bit. But you can see how quick and simple I can go through and try a few different things. Right? We can even go back up here and go to say complementary two. That's not bad. I mean, I could see some tweaks there that need to be made, but it's, it's a start. So I want to reset this back and I can do that by clicking over here on this little eyedropper. This gets colors from the selected art. So again, it's just going to reset back to where we were. I get those gradients back, get that blue back. If we want to try a few different things, we've got a couple of different options down here. I can actually randomly change color order. So what that's going to do is it's going to reorder these and in turn change the way that the actual logo looks. So we can get a few different options there, go with the purple. Get the purple down here in the bottom of the K instead of up in the top. You can also click on this one here, which is gonna go in and randomly change the saturation. That's not bad. And our brightness gets played with as well. Now the tool that I like to use the most when I'm in here is actually on this edit. Here's our colors that we have, and this is on our color wheel. Now, one main thing that you wanna do when you're first coming in here is to click on this little link, Harmony Colors. And what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna lock all of these together. So as I start turning around my color wheel, it keeps everything harmonious as to where it was when we first started. I can slide in and out. So let's say that I, I like this, but I'm not really digging this green. I wanna get something kind of more close to the center of the color wheel. I can slide that in. I can also pull that back out if I wanna go a little bit darker. This wheel down here, you have two different options. You can actually go saturation and hue on the wheel, or you can come over here and go brightness. And if you see that it gets a little bit darker in the center, this one here, it's going to adjust depending on what you're on. So if we're on this one, we're gonna adjust saturation and I can desaturate the logo, or I can add more saturation to the logo. If I click back on this one, I can actually adjust the brightness so we can go darker or we can go brighter. If I wanna change just single colors, so I've reset, I'm gonna go back to the assign, and let's say that I just wanna get rid of this purple, okay? I wanna keep it all blues, but I wanna adjust the purple myself. I'm gonna click on this, and then I can use these sliders down here. And if I wanna go over to the blue, I can actually bring in my magenta, knock up my cyan a little bit, maybe bring it down here just to cool things off, and adjust my black, my K value, just a little bit more. Okay, so for these last two options that I wanna cover, I'm actually gonna click over to our vintage lamp. And again, I'm gonna highlight the whole thing. Now, as you can see, I mean, I've just got my standard swatches here, but there's a way inside of that recolor artwork that we can save out our swatches. I'm gonna go ahead and click on recolor artwork again. We've got our screen up. You can see this is all of the different colors that we have inside of this piece of artwork. Now, if I click on this folder icon over here, 
It's going to add a new color group. And again, this lists everything that we've got inside of this design. Now, if you see again, if I pull this out of the way, nothing in here, but as soon as I click OK, it then adds those colors in there. So the nice thing about this is that I can keep everything kind of tidy. So if I'm sending this over to a client and I don't want them to, you know, change any colors that are up here. So, you know, the client comes in and clicks on this and accidentally hits blue. Well, then it's changed the look of this. So what I can do then is click on this little drop down, go to select all unused, and it's going to highlight everything but the colors we've actually picked. And I'm going to hit the trash bar and everything's gone. So now we're left with just the colors that we're using inside of this design. The last feature inside of Recolor Artwork that I want to talk about is right here. And what this does is we can actually limit the color books or the color properties that we want to use. So say I wanted to go with nothing but flower colors. Or we can go down and say something like complementary. Pretty bright, almost 80s colors. But you can see there's so many different options that I can get to in here. If I want to desaturate it, I can pull all the saturation down. So just by playing around with these, you might get some really cool looks for your artwork that you maybe didn't think about or just gives it a different style. I hope you can see the benefit to this designers. It's helped me immensely because it's just sped up my workflow. When I'm working with logos and trying to recolor things and maybe I need to make four or five different colorways to show a client, I can go in, I can then apply those changes and move on to my next one. It really does make changing colors just so much easier. Now, if this is your first time here on my channel, you might wanna click this link right up here. It'll take you over to my 20 Illustrator tools in 20 days. Don't mind what I say in the videos. It was originally supposed to be 30 Illustrator tools in 30 days, but at the 20 day mark, I just kind of ran out of useful tools to teach. All right, designers, that's it for me in this one. Get out there and design something and I'll see you in the next video. You can just see just the corner of my issue number one of Spawn hung up on the wall in here. I have a lot of stuff up on the walls, but just not quite enough yet. It's coming. I'm getting there. I need to put more stuff up. Soon.